Irish Glen of Amal Terrier. The Irish Glen of Amal Terrier is an indefatigable, brave and tough little dog with temperament of a true terrier. For centuries it has served as a hunting dog, a ratter and mouser, and even as a turnspit dog. This breed is also prized for its communicability, which makes it a wonderful family pet. The Irish Glen of Imal Terrier was granted its name in honor of the place of its origin, the Glen of Imal Valley, which is obviously situated in Ireland. The breed came to existence in the 16th century when Queen Elizabeth I gave up the territories in the valley to Hessian and Flemish soldiers as a reward for their service. Soldiers arrived to their new dominions with their local hounds. It's commonly thought that these wire-haired and short dogs were of the French origin and looked much like the petty Basset Griffin Vendine or the Basset Fauve de Bretagne. Naturally they were interbred with local dogs and greatly evolved over time. At the same time the settlers began to intentionally develop the terrier type of dog with a particular number of talents that would answer the needs of new life conditions. Throughout its history the Irish Glen of Imal Terrier was responsible for performing several tasks including hunting, keeping homes free of vermin and operating the turnspit. The turnspit was a household device, which resembled a wheel. This wheel was fastened to the floor or hung from the ceiling and was linked to a spit over the household hearth by a sheave. The dog was put inside the wheel to move and turn the spit so that the meat would be evenly fried. The breed kept working hard as a vermin exterminator and turnspit operator well into the 19th century. By the end of this century the Irish Glen of Imal Terrier became known worldwide and participated in number of dogs show. With the technological advance chores of the Irish Glen of Imal Terrier lost their former meaning though it remained highly effective as vermin eradicator. The First World War pretty badly affected breeding practices as well as many dogs were left behind by their owners due to the lack of funds or to some other reasons. The breed's number fell in such a way that it was threatened by a complete extinction. Post-war years were marked with revival of interest to the breed but the Second World War interfered with this process. So the Glen of a male terrier was once again in the imminent danger of disappearance. Its rehabilitation began in the 70s of the 20th century partially thanks to English breeders who actively participated in its fate after the war. Presently the Irish Glen of Imal Terrier is an internationally recognized breed, which has approval of such reputable dogs organizations as the Federation Sinologique Internationale and the American Kennel Club. The breed remains exceedingly rare but its small but loyal following is determined to make sure its long-term survival. The Irish Glen of Imal Terrier was characterized with irrepressible courage in performing its hunting assignments and it still retains much of its working drive. Nonetheless it has all necessary qualities for becoming a wonderful family dog. A well-socialized member is quite alright with courteous children. This typical terrier possesses rather hot temper and therefore its interaction with small children should never go unsupervised. The Irish Glen of a Mal Terrier displays suspiciousness in the presence of unfamiliar people. It doesn't tolerate caress from strangers and may respond to it aggressively. The dog has deep booming voice so behind the closed door it can be easily mistaken for much larger canine. Actually without timely training its uncontrolled barking can turn into a very unwelcome habit that will bother your neighbors. The combination of natural vigilance and formidable bark makes it highly useful as a watchdog. But due to its rather modest size this breed won't become an effective guardian of the house. The Irish Glen of Imal Terrier has mixed a reputation with other dogs. It isn't a partment to initiate a fight first but it definitely won't avoid confrontation if other canine is acting aggressively. This dog won't stop its assault even if its adversary exceeds it considerably in size and power. That's why its introduction to an unfamiliar dog should always be closely supervised. The breed is a true hunter in heart and poses visible danger for non-canine animals. Furthermore some individual specimens should never be left alone even with a home cat with which they have been brought up since their puppyhood. The grooming of the Irish Glen of Imal Terrier is not as time-consuming as it may seem at the first glance at this dog. Its coat should be brushed once a week to keep it free of dead hair. 
the breed sheds minimally. To maintain its natural rustic appearance the dog's hair require regular plucking once or twice a year. This procedure doesn't bring any discomfort for the dogs and can be conducted by its owner himself. Thanks to its dense coat the breed adapts well to all kind of weather. Moreover it doesn't prone to tangling or getting dirty so the Irish Glen of a Mal Terrier requires only occasional bath. The Irish Glen of a Mal Terrier is a strong-willed and independent dog whose training can be quite a challenge. Be mindful that this dog will obey only to a strong and calm handler, which should always keep control over the situation. Patient and consistent attitude is essential in the work with it since majority of its specimens retains its puppy lightheartedness and mischievousness much longer than it usually happens with other dogs. The Irish Glen of Imal Terrier is sensitive to harshness in your tone or harsh corrective methods of training and reacts to them either with a grudge or with defensive behavior. That's why you should motivate your dog to work with its favorite treats and gentle encouraging words. Despite its moderate size the Irish Glen of a Mal Terrier is very vigorous and mobile dog, which requires intensive physical activity on a daily basis to feel itself content and happy. The dog should receive at least an hour walk every single day but it would be glad to have an opportunity to spend its exuberant energy in playing and running in a securely enclosed area. The Irish Glen of Imal is apartment to digging so your bed flowers can suffer from this nasty habit. It's wise to remember that under exercise dog will demonstrate its frustration with life by destroying your possessions, being unreasonably nervous, aggressive and disobedient. 